So, hello, hello. I'm sorry it's a bit pressed for time, but today I got this box. And as you can probably see here on the logo, it's the Meadow F7 developer kit, which I've ordered some time ago and which now was delivered as a normal registered parcel to my postbox. And so today it's time to unbox it and just take a quick look what it does and how it looks and uh, what you get in the box. And uh, in the future we will also do some other clips on how to use it, but for now I want you guys to see that the product really exists. Now that I've got the box open, it just was glued closed here, but I cut it up before. We see classic Mauser style bubble wrap, the mug which I've ordered and the box containing the actual Meadow Founding Supporter Development Kit. The mug, well, it comes in an extra package. You see here if I open it, and as you see here, these points, they seem to be in the material. And so here we have the box, the Wilderness Labs Meadow Founding Supporter Dev Kit. It opens to the front here, and what do we find? Dupont wires, Dupont wires, and more Dupont wires. And then we also find a set of breadboard bridges and something small which just fell down. And here there is a letter and as you see here, it doesn't mention my name anywhere. It's just the normal getting started instructions. And as said, they don't know that this was me or was my package. So this really should be the package any of the backers get. Uh, yes, and here we've got what fell off, a small piece of the Dupont wire, but this happens all the time. This is not cost and it's fault. Next up, we see the HackKit Pro. All those of you who are veterans of .NET embedded work will now scream because the box looks awfully similar of the one which was used for the old Gadgeteer prototypes and products. And yeah, I just had to do it. This is the old Gadgeteer box. In case any one of you still remembers it, just leave me a comment. Either way, time to open these things here. And what do we find? First of all, we find the meadow, which is the actual board. And then we also find all kinds of trinkets. You see diodes, a breadboard. What's this? Oh, a display, a square OLED one. Oh, IPS, it's not organic. We have such a peeling coaster. And we see here the PCBs, some diodes, you see the nuts, a classic alphanumeric LCD, and here of course the normal Arduino trinkets, you see here rotary encoders, distance sensors, basically the whole enchilada, just what you need to get started for playing around with the thing. European and Russian followers will be unhappy about this. You see, the parts are American, so you need to get along with the 2M notification, for example, for the transistors. In addition to that, there's also resistor arrays. There's quite a lot of very nice stuff in here, albeit I have the feeling that my box got shaken around a bit during shipping. But nevertheless, this definitely is a very, very beautiful package for all those who want to get started playing with electronics and or playing with the meadow and its included drivers. Careful observers will see that this is to some extent removable. So you can also set up the way how the box is divided. And finally, the money shot. Here we have the meadow. Time to open it. You see the anti-static bag and tada. Here we have the planer, which we've all been waiting for so long. And as you can see here, here's the SGS Thompson CPU and here in the back is the ESP32 for communication. And then here on the sides, you can solder in the actual pins for the breadboard. I have to apologize to all those of my followers who now think that I'm shilling for Kostanich or anything. 
But let me tell you that I've been dealing with the guy personally for quite a bit and I also know him from my mobile development times. And I can really vouch for his character. If there is one person who is grundehrlich, basically honest, it's definitely him. And as you see, the product or the contents of this box really did arrive and do seem to work. So with that, I thank you for listening today and hope to see you soon because as you see, there's a lot of electronics still to do.